everybody, Stephen Key here. I want to talk about when things go wrong, because they do. Uh, just because you license an idea to a company doesn't mean that once it hits the shelf, companies are, are going to uh, buy it, right? And I have a story. It's a, it's a terrible story, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. And I haven't shared this story with anybody, so you're going to hear it for the first time. When I was doing the spin label, having a blast, um, I was pretty excited and I kind of went into the industry, went back out and I got back in again because I became a Disney licensee and they saw my spin label and they thought it'd be great for a project they were working on. They wanted to put it on kids juice because my label would tell a story and Disney tells stories. It was a perfect fit. Um, and I knew right away I needed to stay with it. And that's one tip I want to tell you guys. Whatever project you're working on, working on with your potential licensee, if you can stay with it, it's always better to make sure they hit their dates. They might have some manufacturing issues. And maybe you're not a manufacturing guy, but at least you might be able to help somehow. Don't let them feel like they're all alone, especially when things go wrong. Um, just stay with it. Um, Sometimes they miss dates. Oh, geez. And sometimes things just happen. So you have to have a good attitude and don't flip out because I'm going to tell you a terrible story here and be prepared for the worst. Um, I had licensed, like I said, um, I was Disney had licensed my, li my technology plus their brand Disney to a beverage company called ABC Beverage. And they were going to come out with the juice using my technology. I was really excited. They were going to call it a twist and chill. In fact, let me let me show you the, the product right here if you can see it. Okay. And it was basically a juice for kids. So great product. I thought um, great, great timing using my spin label. In fact, you can see it right here how it works. Let's see if I can get this. Wait, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. Maybe you can't see it. Or maybe you can see this better. I don't know. Go, 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 go. Anyway, I'm excited about it. We do all this work. I go down to make sure everything's going right with the manufacturing process. And of course, never, nothing ever goes right. But I, I stayed close with it. We got over all the obstacles. And sure enough, the product finally hits the shelf. Now, you're not going to want to hear this. Um, just because you sign a licensing deal and just because you're on Disney and just because you've got this great technology and just because it gets to the store shelf, things can go wrong. And it did go wrong. We didn't sell. It didn't sell. It didn't sell. So, and the reason why was a couple of reasons. They priced it. They didn't price it right. It should have been maybe a lower concentrate of juice so they could hit a different price point. But more than that, um, it, it, it hit, the, the timing wasn't right. It hit 2008 when the economy was going down. The product was too expensive. People were cutting back. And even though it was a, my technology on Disney, it didn't sell, it bombed. So it was done, it was over. Now, here's the lesson here for someone, I don't care for, for anybody. What do you do when something goes wrong? It's gonna happen all the time. It's happened to me many times. Um, even, even getting on the shelf, some things don't work right. So you wanna stay with it as much as you can. But the public has to pick. And sometimes they like it, sometimes they, not, they don't. Maybe the manufacturing, something went wrong. Maybe the packaging's wrong. Who knows? So protect yourself. There you go. That's, that's the point here. Protect yourself. Even though you think you've got a winner, and even, think, even though everything is going just perfect, things can go wrong. So come up with a lot of ideas. Learn how to license your creativity, please. Because you can do a lot of projects. You can do multiple products. You can sit to multiple companies. And you can have all these projects up in the air. And your chances of success of hitting one is going to be far greater. Also, if you have multiple products on the shelf at one time, the royalties are just that much better. And if one doesn't do well, it doesn't matter because you've got another one that's making money. So protect yourself. Learn as much as you can about this industry. Keep learning about licensing. Keep watching these videos. Please, if you haven't gone to inventright.com, please do. We have a lot of free stuff over there. I've been coaching inventors for over 16 years. I know how to do this. I can teach you how to do this either through my books, my YouTube, my articles, or even our coaching program. It doesn't matter to me, but I want you to get in the game. One way or the other, 
get that creativity out. Have a blast. You don't have to quit your day job. You don't have to get silly, but get in the game. Learn about licensing. It's a great time. And if you fall down, just get back up and do it again. You never truly fail unless you quit. There you go. Once again, Stephen Key, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.